What's up, super people? My name is Aaron Oster. I am a number one best-selling author on Amazon, and today I'm going to talk about the five best investments you can make as an author. This applies for everyone, self-published, not self-published. Um, uh, these are going to be tips that aren't going to be obvious things like get an editor, get a good cover. These are going to be five things that are separate from that and things that can help you uh, be better as a writer, um, and make things easier for you in general. So yeah, if you could just destroy that like button, like completely wreck it, I would very much appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm, from what I've heard, will appreciate it too. And um, also subscribe, because uh, I want to get to a thousand. We're up to 203, so thank you for not leaving me hanging at 199. I mean... Whoever you are, you know who you are, you're awesome, so thank you. And uh, with that said, let's get right into the video. So we'll start by uh, turning on around over here, and uh, we're going to begin with the number one thing that I would recommend if you were going to do anything. This is the first thing in, I would say, and that is to invest in a good laptop or computer. Now I'm going to flip you around. Hold on. And here we go. Accomplished uh, not hitting the stop button. <laughs> so for me, uh, the laptop that I have is uh, the Microsoft Surface Laptop 2. Uh, right now, if you want to get the uh, Surface Laptop for free, um, the cheapest models I think are going right over here. You can get uh, for $7.99 and they have financing and stuff like you would for a phone. So if you've been looking for a... Uh, uh, phone thing. Okay, so if you've been looking for a new laptop or a new something or other to write on, um, I cannot recommend this enough. So, I mean, the reason that I got this specific laptop was because of this right here, this uh, soft touch and the keyboard uh, keys. Uh, for me, it was all about comfort over everything else. And when I tried this out in the Microsoft, uh, sorry, in Best Buy, I like immediately loved it. Now, yes, uh, the downside of getting this specific laptop is that uh, you can get another laptop from a different company uh, for, you get a lot more bang for your buck. So for example, if you're gonna pay, like uh, I paid $1,200 for this laptop, uh, it's got an i5 core and uh, eight gig of RAM, 256 gig of storage. You can get a laptop for the same price with like, um, you know, a, a terabyte of storage, uh, i7 core, and uh, like 16 gig of RAM. Uh, but the reason that I paid that extra money and I think is worth it for me is because of this soft touch keyboard, uh, which makes the writing experience just so much more comfortable for me. Like I said, uh, I wrote my first few books on a tablet that looks kind of like this uh, using a Bluetooth keyboard, and that was... I mean, my hands were killing me. Another little writing tip I'd give you is, uh, and this one is free, by the way, just like everything else on my channel, um, is to not leave your hands resting flat on the keyboard. Um, roll something up so your wrists are constantly suspended. You don't even have to buy any gel pads or anything. I literally, see this? This is an, an old pair of uh, pants that I don't use anymore. I literally just ball this up. I rest my wrists on here. <laughs> I'm such a cheapskate. And um, that is how I get my uh, writing done. And that is how I avoid ending up with wrist fatigue and my hands killing me. Um, and while you personally might not think it's a problem now, I can tell you that if you write enough and for a long enough time, it can become a serious problem. Um, so yeah, for me personally, I would recommend the Microsoft Surface Laptop above anything else. Uh, if you are looking for a laptop and if you want me to go more in depth into the laptop and what I think of it um, I can do another video on that. All right, so that was a bit long for number one But we'll quickly move on to number two and the second thing that you could do to invest in yourself is uh, Yourself actually the best thing you can invest is time <clears throat> Excuse me, and that won't actually cost you any money so Watch some videos on YouTube like this one do some market research uh, do some things that uh, you will personally enjoy that will help you 
um, improve your writing and improve uh, yourself as an author. Uh, practice writing, you know, write down ridiculous ideas like my other video where you can practice your creativity and uh, come up with crazy things. Uh, another thing that I would recommend is if you are an artistic person and you enjoy drawing and stuff like that, I would recommend getting a subscription to Photoshop. So here we go, I'm going to flip you guys around right. And when you sign up to Photoshop, you'll get seven days for free, so you can try it out and see if you like it or not. Now for me personally, I've started drawing again in my personal time, and I have been doing this for uh, recreation because I enjoy this, and because I see this as a future potential investment where I can make my own covers and uh, not have to hire out anyone else. Um, so yeah, uh, recommendation number two, like I said, invest time. That is, is one of the most valuable things you can invest. All right, now here we go. Moving on to number three. Uh, and this one you might not think is all that important, but I would recommend investing in some good hand wraps and wrist wraps. Uh, for me personally, I never thought this was important until I started getting some serious wrist pain, like burning pain. And I'm a young guy, so I mean, this isn't something that should really be affecting me just yet. I shouldn't be getting carpal tunnel. I shouldn't be, you know, and in my last job, I did a lot of typing, but I never really came across this problem until I was typing for hours on end. And when I got these specific wrist wraps, it completely changed everything. They aren't very constricting. They're light. I wear them when I'm writing specifically, and I also wear them at night. So my wrists don't move around and I don't end up with them being sore in the mornings. So I'll write when I wear them and then I'll take them off for the rest of the day, give my hands some time to breathe, stretch, all that other stuff. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> all right, so right over here, I'm gonna show you exactly hand wraps that you can get. And these right here, they're not expensive. Excuse me. See, they're only $11.95 and you get four hand wraps. These are larger ones that you can get for your arms. Uh, and these are the smaller ones that you can use for your hands. They are very good. They have lasted me. I'm honestly not really sure how long, but um, I think that they are definitely, definitely worth buying. All right. I am sorry for all the back and forth. Um, you know, switching back and forth between showing off uh, my recommended stuff that you guys can invest in and seeing my face, so um, I feel like you'd rather stare at the computer than me, but uh, <laughs> all right, let's move on to number four. Um, the next thing that you can invest in yourself is uh, a subscription to Audible, links down below by the way, you know, you can get your first free audiobook if uh, you sign up, you get 30 days for free and a free uh, thinky for Audible, you get a free audiobook if you sign up, you know, product placement there. Um, and a subscription to Kindle Unlimited. Um, that's uh, $9.99 a month at Amazon. Now, hold on. We're flipping you around again. And this time, I think I'll keep you flipped around until the video is over. Sorry. All right, so here we go. Uh, with Audible, uh, you can sign up. Um, it's going to be uh, $14.95 a month. They have a new thing now where uh, you can sign up to Audible Plus. Uh, and that is, is a new thing where you can basically stream books, sort of how you would like a, uh, you know, Netflix or Hulu or anything like that. Uh, you could stream pretty much anything in their, ca in their, um, gosh, in their library, uh, that they have included. And from what I understand, they're going to be switching that out. But if you want a more traditional membership, it'll be $14.95 a month and you will get a free credit every month for any audiobook. So that means you see a 30 or $40 audiobook you want you can use that credit and buy it and save yourself the money. Um, another thing, like I said, I'd recommend getting a Kindle Unlimited subscription. If you sign up, um, <clears throat> you can get a lot more out of this because there are a ton of books signed up in KU. And you can normally find a link that can get you like two or three months for free, uh, which is really nice because everyone loves free stuff. Now, the reason I'd recommend this is that as an author, you are going to want to be doing research and this falls into the research category and reading and listening to books specifically can give you so many ideas that you never would have come up with on your own. And, um, you know, my love of writing came because I loved reading so much. I mean, personally for me, I go with Audible because, I mean, I love audiobooks. It lets me um, do things while I'm reading. I have been an Audible member for like 
eight years already, and I've been an audiobook listener since I was about eight or nine. Um, and if you guys don't want to have to pay for an Audible subscription or a Kindle Unlimited subscription, uh, you can go to your local library if uh, those still exist. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, pick up uh, books or audiobooks from there for free. Um, all right, so now moving on to the last thing I would recommend, and that is writing and proof and proofing programs. Uh, so you can get Microsoft Word, that's what I use, and I'd recommend this. Now you can buy the actual program for $139, but if you don't want to do that, you can sign up for the entire suite of uh, Office programs for just $6.99 a month, and you get a terabyte of cloud storage, which I think is completely worth it. This is the one that I personally use and I've been using for... I mean, ever since I started writing. Um, and that's because it gives you access to all the other stuff you could use, like QuickBooks for your business and uh, not QuickBooks. Is it QuickBooks? I'm not sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. I think I'm thinking of something else and I'm saying QuickBooks, but I'm thinking of something else. Don't mind me, but Word is the number one thing I'd recommend. And number two is Grammarly. I literally cannot recommend them enough. Um, you can literally just plug it right into your Microsoft Word. You can download it for free if you want to. Uh, the paid program, I think, is $139 a year, but it is so worth it because it misses so many things that Word would not otherwise catch. So, yeah, Grammarly, another thing I would very much recommend you investing in as an author. So, with all of that said... Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Uh, this one actually took me a bit of time to put together because I had to uh, think up all the things that I personally uh, would have benefited from knowing earlier on. Like Grammarly, I didn't actually get Grammarly until late last year. And I, you know, as soon as I got it, you know, made a huge difference uh, in my writing. And, and, you know, the editing of my books just came up a, a whole lot more. Um... So, yeah, I mean, if this helped you, I mean, the same thing, you know, laptop, you know, equipment, if you're not sure what to buy, if you're not sure what to get, these are things that can really help you out as an author, help you stay in tip-top shape, help you from, you know, having to stop writing because your hands are hurting too much, um, and just help make things easier for you in general. So, uh, yeah, if you guys can just destroy that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe too. Again, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so pretty please subscribe. Um, also, like I mentioned, if you want to sign up to Audible, you get 30 days for free. Just click one of those links down below. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Keep being super, and I will see you all next time.